Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to see how to connect to um, uh, SQL Server database from Crystal Report and how to call the Crystal Report from Visual Basic 6.0. So first we will create a uh, report and I'll just show you how to connect to the SQL Server database. So I'll take a blank report and click on OK and go to more data source active data active data ADO go to add OLEDB build take SQL Server OLEDB provider for SQL Server uh, write the server name here you will write your own server name machine name or IP address whatever you provide Machine name is NetBias name. Now, now catalog is populated. If your any of the parameters is correct, not correct, this will not populate. Test the connection. Okay. Now I'll provide just copy this one and keep it in a notepad because we require it later on. So this connection is required the vv6 let's say ok done now we'll add the SQL statement you can build your own SQL statement built from the uh, database or table object but here I will write the SQL statement UMP code UMP name from employee master click on ok close From the field explorer, click on this. There will be a D object under this. You can double click and take and put in the detail section. This is the detail section. This is the repeating section which actually contains the record. You can also drag and drop. If you double click, it will all, all um, automatically get stick with the mouse pointer. So. I'm just a little concerned about the formatting right now. Okay, so you can also put report header and all this. So we just run the report and see. So okay, this is the report. Save it. Name it say imp rep dot rpt. So I'm done with the report. Close this and open the basic here I have already a project I'll just show you the code I've written so here are two forms the first form is the which actually contains the report control so showing you the report control first let us go to the component so project in project go to the components and in this component just follow this just select this to crystal report control and crystal report viewer control this is crviewer.dll and this is cr chris ctl 32.ocx this is a 32 bit and they select this two and from designer section i mean reference reference you select crystal report viewer control will already be selected you have to because this is you know, whenever you select it from the project component it is already uh, also selected in the project reference you have to select this one microsoft active um, uh, crystal report 8.5 activex designer and runtime li library and microsoft activex object 2.5 this one second one you required for adodb connection and adodb record set because you are i am dynamically invoking the rep crystal report and we have to configure all the sql statement open the connection object open the record set and all that so this is my uh, reference and components and from this this control uh, let us delete this one and from here you have this CR viewer so let it let it, let it be CR viewer and this one is crystal report this is actually the engine so 
so this is crystal report now we will go to the invoking, invoking form this is the second form form 2 go to the code section now just follow this one there is two uh, connection one is adodb dot connection object and adodb dot record set object which is which actually comes from microsoft active microsoft Act, activex data object 2.5 data object 2.5 Again, let us show you once again this one Microsoft ActiveX data object 2.5 library library and this two cracks DRT dot application and cracks DRT dot report this comes from this one crust crystal report 8.5 ActiveX designer design and runtime library now this this one two three four four objects this four objects actually come from the project reference and the two control I have shown you, these two control come from project components. Now let us start, the, let us understand the coding. First we will set the crystal report, crystal rep object uh, with the crystal application. See this one, crack state or application, this is actually crystal application. If you have done Excel programming or what programming you know, in a, there is exe, Excel dot application, what are application in the same way this is cracks data to application which is crystal application this is actually the crystal engine crystal dead crystal report engine and this is the crystal report which is actually crystal report so we will set the crystal report with the crystal with the crystal report engine we will open the report and the report is here i just change the report as imp rip. i think the name is imp rip so after uh, the crystal report crystal is created i will open crystal dot database dot add oledb source okay just we'll just do one thing just make it okay sorry okay so of what happened okay ah so just uh, divide into two lines to understand so add only the db source this is the connection string as i've shown you before you can also paste the connection string okay so here is the connection string uh, the same connection string i've pasted here so only the pa password has been given password is not shown here because due to security purpose so here is the password you have to just add the password here initial catalog this is a database name and this is the machine machine name or net bias name or ip address you can provide and you have to provide one dummy table okay so how many table SQL you write how many type of the database you, table you use you have can give one dummy table you can use so i am using employee underscore master though i am also using employee master underscore master so now i'm setting the connection object setting the record set object uh, okay just uh, checking if the connection state is open then closing the connection just a moment okay so uh -huh. the, after this i'm setting the connection string i'm giving the same parameter as in the quiz step okay so let us do one thing to clear confusion and just put it in one line so here the same parameter is given okay there is some problem with this. Okay, huh. The same same connection string will be given here. Okay, and open the connection. If the record set is open, state is open, then close the record set. Open the record set with the SQL statement. I've just added one where clause here. And this is, you know, if you have worked with, I will not explain ActiveX data object or adodb dot record set or connection. So opening the record set, if it is not your end of, if record it exists, if it returns record set, then what we do with Chris rep, Chris rep, we do dot database dot table dot tables one dot data source. Set the dot set data source. We set the record set. This record set is attached with the with the Chris rep. Okay, so Chris rep will identify the records returning record set with the set data source. It is attached with it, and this is discard the saved data. So what what this this does? Uh, what happens? Uh, Crystal report actually uh, uses a cache. Cache. What is the first time when you generate the report? It saved the data 
Okay, so next time if you use the same SQL and same report is generated, it displays the, it compares the data and if it, the same data is there, it does not generate, uh, use the engine to generate, uh, actually don't retrieve the data from the database or call the database, just displays the old data. So if I am just done to discard data too, um, I don't want, uh, I, I want to fetch every time from the database, so I've just given this one. So end with end if, okay, so after this, just I'll be deleting this one. Param is also not required. Now this is parameter field. See, uh, let us again move to the crystal report. I have to show you the parameters. How to create the parameters if you have used crystal report field object. Here I'll create one parameter. New parameter EMP grade. Okay. Done. This is just to show you what is actually parameter. So if there is parameter, you will have to add the in the quiz step you are, you have to add the parameter field. Okay, EMP grade. So just remember one thing you have to uh, okay okay just leave it just you just add the parameter field how many parameters if there are two parameters you have to add the two parameters if you don't do this invoking the report can be a problem and in the now what we'll do see in form one we, we have seen that there are one CR viewer which is where the report will be displayed and one is crystal report which is actually the crystal report engine so what we do, we call form1.crviewer.report source and we set the report source as quizrep and form1.crviewer.view report. Now this view report actually, actually what it does, it displays the report. Okay. Suppose if, uh, okay, first let us run this one and Okay, so this is the report. Report is generated. Now, uh, if we comment this one, view report, what will happen? Okay, nothing is displayed. Report is not generated. Actually, the uh, SQL is parsed. Okay, the SQL is set, but. Uh, since we have not called the view report, that's why the report is not displayed in the crystal report viewer. So this is the report. So that's all about uh, calling crystal report from BB6 and connecting to SQL Server 2000. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, to press the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel which is subhro190776. Okay, so that's all for, for this tutorial. Thank you very much.